Hey gamers, what's up? So recently I've got a lot of requests, people asking how do I refurbish, how do I restore CDs and DVDs for my PS2, for my Saturn, for my Sega CD, for whatever. And uh, I thought, okay, I'll do a quick video on that. There's really not much to it. There's not much I can help you with aside from getting marker off and stickers off. Now, stickers basically are the same as with cartridges, but when you're dealing with uh, discs, you have to be careful of the surface of the disc, the paint on the disc. You don't want to scratch it off. A lot of times you scratch that paint off, the disc will stop working. So be really careful when you're dealing with discs in the surface. A lot of times, if it's not too bad, I'll leave it on. Uh, sometimes I do try to get them off there, and uh, I don't have any, and normally here up on the wall I have something with a sticker on it or whatever. I didn't have any up there. I did have these examples, though, with some marker on them that I found in there, and I will show you how to get that off. Mm. Just be careful when you're removing those stickers. Cool. Peel them off real gingerly, real carefully, and real slowly, and then do basically what I do with um, cartridges. Spray a little bit of the solvent on, and again, just the same stuff I always use. As a matter of fact, I'll show you right now. Let's take a close look at this. I see that a lot on games. It's like a P. I I don't know. And the disc itself is pretty scratched up. But again, it's just the same stuff I always use to get um, marker off of cartridges or whatever. But whenever I'm using it on a, uh, a disc, I'm just real careful about whether I'm pulling off any of the paint for the disc. Because if you, if you create, you know, a spot there, it, it won't read anymore. If you scratch off the paint on the surface of a disc, a lot of times the disc won't play. So you got to be really careful of that. So just look, and I'm making sure none of the markers, or none of the paint's coming up with the marker. And see, that came off. And that's not too bad. And with these, it's not too bad at all. And this normally just wipes right off. And, uh, yeah, look at that. That came right off. And that was just stuff that was sitting up here in the collection. The next step for me is always resurfacing. And I don't recommend, like, game doctors and stuff. They put a, uh, um, a mark that comes up the disc all the way around it. It looks terrible. So I always uh, recommend a, like a real resurfacer. And if you don't, I mean, if you don't have access to one of those, I understand. Not, not everyone does, but a lot of stores have these and they'll do your discs up for like a buck or two a piece. Um, I mean, as long as they're not charging too much for it, it's not that bad. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on and uh, I'll show them to you when they're done and let you get an idea of what these discs look like. And that's about it. So, uh, not a whole lot you can do with discs. Uh, they're a little more fragile, especially when you're talking about the top part of the disc and everything. And uh, a professional resurfacing is definitely the way to go over, like a game doctor. And don't believe this crappy here. I mean, sure, you can rub toothpaste on your on your disc, and it'll fill little, you know, holes in it, and it might even make it play. But it's definitely not what you want to do. Don't do that. I've heard people say the most ridiculous thing about cleaning their discs. Uh, I had a guy come in not too long ago told me he, he just puts his discs in the toilet and flushes it and keeps on flushing it and it rinses them off and cleans them real good and they don't fit down the drain so it's perfectly... No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, just hit 9,000 subscribers, by the way. Thanks a lot everyone. Uh, I really appreciate everyone watching. Uh, 10,000 is coming up soon. Video 200 is coming up soon. That's awesome. I have something planned for that. So keep your eyes peeled to the videos for the next few weeks. And 
We'll try to get something special out. I'll try to do uh, a couple more updates before Christmas and let you guys see how things are going with that. And that's really about it right now. I'm dead beat. I'm tired. I'm going to go get some coffee. So you guys have a great day. I will catch you all soon. And I will catch you all later. Thanks for walking. Thanks for walking? Where are we walking to? Where do I have to start from? Where do I just... I have to edit this.